Jim Jordan says he plans to move ahead with a third vote on his bid to become House Speaker later today. And Israel has ordered thousands of people to evacuate a town near its northern border with Lebanon. Good morning. I'm Corva Coleman from NPR News, and here are today's top stories. Ohio Congressman Jim Jordan is pushing ahead with his bid to become Speaker of the House. He's failed twice this week, and he lost more Republican lawmakers in the second round of voting than he did in the first. Jordan doesn't seem to be bothered by that. We picked up a few. We lost a few. I think the ones we lost can come back. So, uh, look, there's been multiple rounds of votes for Speaker before. Um, We all know that. I just know that we need to get a speaker as soon as possible so we can get to work for the American people. A third vote could happen this morning, but the opposition to Jordan from some Republicans seems entrenched. Many members have complained that Jordan and his supporters have bullied and threatened them, their staffs and their families. Jordan has said he opposes the harassment. Israel is ordering thousands of people to evacuate a town near the northern border with Lebanon. Cross-border attacks from Hezbollah are continuing. NPR's Peter Kenyon reports Israel also launched more strikes in Gaza, hitting a Greek Orthodox church compound. Israel began evacuating a town not far from the Lebanese border, the second such evacuation order to be issued and the latest sign that a ground invasion of the Gaza Strip may be imminent. Israel's defense minister told troops to be prepared to see Gaza from the inside. Palestinians in Gaza, meanwhile, report heavy airstrikes in Han Yunus, and the Interior Ministry says an airstrike late Thursday at a church compound left a large number of dead and wounded. The IDF said it was looking into the reported strike on the Greek Orthodox St. Porphyrius Church. Peter Kenyon, NPR News, Jerusalem. Palestinians stuck in southern Gaza still cannot access aid. Many trucks carrying water, food and medicine are waiting across the border in Egypt. The U.N. Secretary General is at the border crossing, urging officials in Israel and Egypt to allow aid to go through. President Biden said earlier he secured promises from both countries to allow aid to enter Gaza. The Justice Department says former President Donald Trump is not entitled to blanket immunity from criminal prosecution. NPR's Kerry Johnson reports this claim is from the federal case alleging Trump interfered in the 2020 election. Prosecutors working for special counsel Jack Smith say there's no legal or historical support for the idea that former presidents should be shielded from accountability for their crimes. The Justice Department is urging a judge to reject Trump's bid to dismiss four felony charges against him in a Washington, D.C. court. Trump says he simply tried to protect the integrity of the last presidential election, but prosecutors said he led a conspiracy to overturn the election results and keep himself in power despite the will of the voters. Judge Tanya Chutkin will resolve the issue. Trump may be positioning for an appeal to the Supreme Court, which could delay the trial set for March 20. 2024. Carrie Johnson, NPR News, Washington. This is NPR News.